You should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showcasing uh, Google Drive. Now the reason I'm going to be showcasing this feature for Google is because I was searching on YouTube for other things uh, and benefits etc. So, you know, features. Features that kind of add on to the Google experience because as you know Google has a huge vast collection of features that is actually free to the user. So as a YouTuber myself, I thought I'd go check this out as YouTube is a massive part of Google and my YouTube account is attached to AdSense, which is one example of how features um, actually coexist with each other. So I thought I'd actually showcase my favorite feature Google has. Anybody with a Google account has Google Drive. Just go to google.com slash drive. It's really, really cool. Now, First of all, I hope you can actually see my entire desktop. I'm assuming you can because I did a previous video with the desktop layout like this, just with a different background. So the first thing you'll actually come across is you'll obviously see the normal standard Google layout. Um, and then you'll get, well yours will be blank, there won't be anything in here apart from a couple of introduction files to tell you what this is all about. There may be a few introduction tutorials and some pop-ups that tell you what Google Drive is about. But other than that, there shouldn't be anything on here. So, anyway, moving on. So, first of all, the layout is really simple to understand. Now, it's just an online, on the website, it's just the online storage. Now, this is pretty much like things like, um, sort of like the cloud storage you get on Xbox or Outlook and OneDrive stuff like that so it's free online storage as you can see you get 15 gigabytes for free so if you've got a google account all you have to do is sign up for google and automatically you have 15 gigabytes of free cloud storage you can upload anything you want pictures documents videos i thought this was pretty useful okay and it also comes with extra features so when you actually download google drive for desktop when you go down uh, hold on a minute okay there it is sorry i had to find it there so as you can see here it says get drive for pc i'm not going to need to do this and download this because i've actually already got it i'm actually going to show you guys what that gives you now okay so obviously because i'm logged in with my google account it has everything that i've put up here so say we want to put this picture of me and my beautiful girlfriend uh, up on my google drive but i don't want to actually do it from the website by the way, um, there's no sp specific reason I'm using that picture. I'm using that picture because it's the first picture, as you can see, it's on my desktop. Anyway, um, moving on, let's go down and actually find Google Documents. Okay, so say we want to get a picture. So it can be any picture. I've just randomly picked any picture out of my pictures on my desktop, and you want to upload it to your Google Drive. So I want to actually upload it in a new folder so I'm just going to right click when I'm on the website and click new folder we're just going to name the folder random pics because I'm not actually going to keep this so yeah now as you can see it's completely empty so I can actually drag and drop this image into there there's left than a, less than a minute left and there you go the upload complete and the pictures inside there now I'm actually gonna go down and remove the image from in there I'm actually going to show you guys how this works once you've downloaded Google Drive it also gives you an extension for Google Chrome which I actually recommend you guys download because it makes it incredibly easy to use okay so the first thing it's going to do when you've actually downloaded it on your desktop is it's going to give you these three uh, which are basically just shortcuts to online Google places so Google Slides Google Sheets and Google Documents these three aren't really that useful so I don't really use them so I'm going to get rid of them and put them over there Okay, outside, out of mind, huh? Okay, so the next thing is you also get your own Google Drive folder. And what I find awesome about this folder is it's actually synchronized with the online storage. So this is my online storage, as you can see here. If we actually refresh it, eventually it will come up with a new folder that I put in there. Uh, but it doesn't seem to have done, it doesn't seem to have done that yet, unfortunately. But yeah, this basically synchronizes with the online data. Now I'm actually going to give you an example and a demonstration of how that works now. So I've opened up my documents here, and as you can see, I'm just in my, my, normal, my normal desktop, um, browsing my folders, etc, etc, etc. And 
as you can see down the side here, those Google Drive. So you can access it from absolutely anywhere. It's really cool and really useful. So let's make a new folder in here and let's call it Pics for YouTube. These aren't actually Pics for YouTube, obviously, but as you can see, it comes out of the blue uh, blue arrows because obviously that basically means it's got to be synchronized. Um, Yes. So there you go. Now I've actually made a new folder on my desktop. It's synchronized and actually the random pics folder that we made earlier has actually showed up. Okay, so we can actually drag and drop this into here, pics for YouTube, and as you can see that appears in there. Now obviously you can still see the blue arrows, but in a few moments that will just update. As you can see there it's just turned into a green tick, which means it's up uploaded and synced. It's all pretty quick and it was all pretty fast. So let's actually go back to my drive. And as you can see here, the pics for YouTube folder we, that we have just made actually appears here and inside is the image we've uploaded. So it's really easy to store your desktop files online. If you have any pictures or you're maybe you're into photography and you want to upload some pictures and you want to keep them somewhere safe, well, this is a really useful resource and a really useful tool because it could be accessed from anywhere. So say you... Uh, you like editing photos or you have a photo collection in which you'd like to, uh, to be portable this can be accessed even from your phone so if you download the Google Drive app you can even upload pictures from your phone directly to your Google Drive so it'll update in here so you can access it from your desktop and you can access it from online anywhere in the world so yeah it's really cool so this picture that I've just uploaded I could upload a picture from my phone right now guys I'm about to do so so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take a picture of my desktop screen as you can see right here so what you're looking at right now I'm about to take a mobile pi mobile picture of okay so I've just snapped the picture and the picture that I've just uploaded the picture that I have just taken rather I'm about to upload to my Google Drive so I'm going to upload it into I'm actually just going to upload it into anywhere so I'm actually going to upload it raw I'm not going to put it in any of the folders okay and there you go as you can see the picture that I've just uploaded from my phone we're actually going to double click it so I can prove to you guys I've just uploaded this from my phone let's drag and drop this over there okay so there you go you can see that I've actually taken the picture from my mobile phone you can see the kind of like the weird lines you see on the screen when you're taking it from a phone um, but yeah so it's really really useful so any pictures you have you can just instantly upload them to your Google Drive so when you get home and you get on your laptop, it's just right there for you to edit or do whatever you want with, um, however you like. It's also really cool for coursework and schoolwork. I've got my entire area backed up here because I can actually access this from school. Um, I can just go back, go back onto the Google Drive website and upload my, well, upload my shit to here. So I can upload my work and my folders, um, any coursework or whatever I want into that folder and when I get home, I can actually access it from my desktop in this folder here. I can also access it from my phone, but I don't really see the need for that. So yeah, it's really, really simple to use and it's really awesome. I recommend it guys because you get 15 gigabytes absolutely free. Okay, so I think that's pretty much all there is to it anyway guys. So um, 15 gigabytes of data online pretty awesome you can actually upgrade this for literally it's, it's about two pound fifty okay it's actually not two pound fifty it's about one pound thirty something so for one dollar ninety nine per month you can actually get 100 gigabytes of data which is in the uk about quid thirty something like i just said so it's really cheap 100 gigabytes of data guys for a quid thirty every month that's that's incredible actually so yeah i'm gonna be on that plan soon because shit i mean it's worth the money it's online storage and it's somewhere to keep your data just just in case it's way more portable than obviously carrying your laptop around everywhere and using usb sticks because not everything has a usb port and it's also pretty cool to be on public wi-fi on your mobile phone and to be able to access photos to show people on the move just yeah it's really useful it's really interesting and i really recommend it so this has been about 10 minutes of me showcasing google drive i really hope you guys can actually check it out if you or if you haven't already if you have got a google account you should know that you with this one google email one google account you've got everything google mail google drive google documents google spreadsheets you've got 
so much, even YouTube um, and AdSense and there's just so much Google actually has um, these days actually that sort of coexists with each other so it's a really useful resource so yeah I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this review I hope you can take something from it um, hopefully you can actually make a Google account if you haven't already got Google I really recommend making a Google email um, it doesn't take too long just make a Google email it's totally worth your time um, so yeah guys this has just been another video from me X new gamer uh, have a great evening day night or whatever the fuck the time is where you are anyway guys peace out